Six months ago, I made a video where I researched the top specifications needed for an architecture laptop, and I bought one. And today, I'm going to do a six month review of the XPS 15, and I'm gonna give you an honest reason as to why I think this is the dream architecture laptop. Okay. Bingo. Yes, so it's been six months since I picked up this Dell XPS 15, and today I'm going to give you an honest review, and I'm gonna give you a reason as to why I think this is the dream architecture laptop. To give you guys a bit of context, I picked up this laptop before I started my Masters of Architecture degree. I needed a new laptop, I used to have the HP Envy and I decided to upgrade before going into a Masters Architecture degree because I wanted an absolute beast before starting my Masters. And to quickly run over the Dell XPS 15 specs that I picked up, this is a 15.6 inch Full HD Plus screen with a 1920 by 1200 resolution. It's got an 11th generation Intel i7, 8 core processor, 32 gigabytes RAM, and 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. And before I go into any concerns that I have about this laptop, let me tell you what I've absolutely loved about it. So I use this laptop for absolutely everything. I use it on my day-to-day -day life, watching films, doing Word documents, sending emails, 3D modeling. So I use Rhino and Revit, and then I also render on this laptop. And then I also, of course, edit all my YouTube videos and export all my YouTube videos using this laptop. And then of course using all of the Adobe suites, etc. So this laptop goes for a lot. I use it a lot, I use it every single day, I use it hours and hours a day. And it's been fine, it's been amazing to be honest. It's been able to handle all the workload. I haven't really found too many issues in terms of the actual workload itself and it's slowing down or, or having any issues in terms of rendering things or struggling with my videos. In fact, it's actually been super, super fast with rendering my videos. I can render a video now within 15 minutes when before it used to take about half an hour to 45 minutes with my old laptop. I've rendered using Rhino and that is rendered in 15 to 20 minutes really, really fast. So with using it in day-to-day -day use, I haven't found any issues with it whatsoever and it's been absolutely amazing. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I love the 15.6 inch screen. I love how it goes right up to the edges so it looks like a really nice big screen without the laptop feeling too big. So the one thing that I was concerned about before getting this laptop was I previously had a 14 inch HP Envy and so I wanted to take the step up to a bigger screen but I was slightly concerned that the laptop itself would be quite big and chunky and obviously not very portable however with this one because the screen goes right to the edges it actually makes the laptop feel quite small and compact and also still feels very portable and light and it's pretty thin and lightweight and so yeah, I think it looks great. It's very, very portable. I love the screen. The resolution is fantastic. The 1920 to 1200 resolution is amazing. And the resolution is fantastic when you're looking at crisp rendering, when I'm rendering anything from my YouTube videos or in the 3D modeling softwares. It's really great to see the crisp materiality of the renders. On the right hand side of the laptop, it's got a USB-C, an SD card slot, and also a headphone jack. And on the left hand side, it's got two USB-C ports, and also this square hole, which <laughs> I'm not sure, quite sure what that is. And I personally really like the USB-Cs over the USB ports because they're nice and thin. It makes the laptop feel quite compact and thin. And although you have to get extension pieces like this here to be able to convert it to a HDMI or to a USB, I think it's great to have a USB-C charger because it's nice and portable and it's lightweight. Another feature that I really like is the speakers down the right hand side and the left hand side of the keyboard. And you'd actually be really surprised because it's actually quite impressive how loud they can go. So really great speakers and also the quality of the keyboard is really nice. It's got a really nice satisfying type to it. The keys don't protrude too much and they look really nice in the keyboard. So all around, I love the aesthetic of the laptop. The speakers are great. The functionality of day-to-day -day use is absolutely fantastic. And I like the USB-C ports. In terms of any concerns, I'm not sure if there is any. I haven't found any issues personally at the moment, which is absolutely crazy. 
Personally, I'm no tech expert, I'm no laptop expert. I don't know much about processors and those kinds of things. But as you guys would have seen, I did lots of research into this laptop to make sure that it would do the right things for me. It'd be able to perform on a day-to-day -day basis. And if I wanted to do any rendering with architecture softwares or rendering programs, it would work perfectly fine. And to be honest, it's been great. It's worked an absolute treat for me. And now a word from our sponsors. Yes, so this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community to help you guys within the creative industry to take your work to the next level. Skillshare has a wide range of classes and tutorials to help you guys as architect students, as graphic designers, and illustrators, as artists, as a chef maybe. Skillshare has got a whole host of classes that will help you guys out. And seamless today we've been discussing about softwares that I've been using on my laptop. I've been using Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere Pro, all kinds of different softwares within the Adobe suite. And if you guys wanted to advance your skills in Photoshop, this class might be perfect for you. Learn Adobe Photoshop like a pro, advanced techniques by Kat Cockerlet, dives into advanced workflow tips and tricks for efficiency, comprehensive skill sets for Adobe Photoshop, and confidence to take you to the next level. You might learn a whole host of new techniques by getting involved in this workshop and the first 1,000 people to hit the link down below in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So back to the video. And so to conclude this six month review, I highly recommend picking up a Dell XPS 15. If you are an architecture student and you want to use the laptop for your rendering and your 3D modeling, and also for day-to-day -day use, because this thing is a beast, but it's also within a budget, which is absolutely fantastic. And that is gonna be a wrap on today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. That'd be much, much appreciated. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Peace.